All right there, singing world. This is part two of uh, the video that offers Italian pronunciation help for the aria Ritorna Vincitor. Aida is aria from Aida. Again, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, I suggest you follow the link in the description box below and catch up on part one. Uh, there's an introduction and, and some important information in that one. Um, so we will go on with uh, the second part of the aria starting on Linsana Parola. Okay, so word by word first and then line by line. Linsana. So uh, there are two ends in this word first off, right? The first end touches the S so it phonates a bit. Linsana. The second end is surrounded by vowels. So you have to be careful to not double it. So what I mean by here's the mistake you can make. Linsana, right? Double N where it doesn't belong. But you can also say linsan, lin, uh, actually the opposite, right? Linsana, right? With no N before the S. Lin, that has to be there. Okay, going on. Parola. We've had this word in the first part of the video. So it's a single R flipped, open O, single L, right? The most common mistake is parola or parola. That's you can make two mistakes in one word. The next is o, the interjection. Uh, o can be either be pronounced as o or a, right? But in this case, it's unstressed, so I would tend to to do it uh, closed because it's unstressed. So it's a strong monosyllable. You notice I've written a double n, onumi. So uh, for the gods, they will get doubled, right? Onumi and, and a single M. Going on, you have three closed E's. So it's A, A, A. Sperdete. So notice I did the purity test before I did it. I did all the vowels, making sure they're all the same. Then I make sure that that R does not influence, as we do in English. Spare, right? Sperdete. Going on. Seno is a closed E. So al seno, al seno. Notice the L. Al seno. So it's always going forward as an upbeat. And so now we have another N assimilation. We didn't have this happen in the first part of the aria. Um, so you have an N before a P. And if you notice, I've written that sort of M type symbol, right? So what happens is dum padre. Watch again. Dum padre. So what happens is you're going to say padre with your lips together, and the end goes right there. Dum padre. See, so again, we can do um, all kinds of different ways. We can say we we do the way a typical American singer does with the N in the mouth, right? Dum padre. What happens? So you try to sing legato. You have to release the tongue, and then you have a shadow vowel. Duna padre. So the best one is to do the one from speech. Again, Italians don't realize they do this. It goes by really fast and it disappears into the P. Dum padre. Okay? So now you know this trick. And if you exaggerate it and you hold it, make it a double consonant, it will also be wrong. Dum padre if you do that, right? So that's also going to be weird. So the best one is the one that just goes straight ahead. Okay, going on. La, the word for the, is a weak monosyllable, so it does not double. La filia, ya. So G L I is like uh, ya, y, y, right? But from the e position, ya, e e e ya, right? So from up there, you're not going to say e, and then it's preceded by an l in phonation. L, l, ya. So, feel, ya. I'm taking a lot of time and spending a lot of energy on this because most American singers do not give this enough energy. So, I get feel, ya down there in our normal sp spoken position, which is low, right? Feel, ya. It's shiny and it's brilliant, right? Okay, going on. Rendete. Again, a, 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 like spirdete. And now you have a lot of ete verbs, right? First person plural. Struggete. Struggete. So double G, D, G, E, T. E, T, E is closed E. Le, L, E, weak, weak monosyllable. Squadre. So this is s, s, 
squadre. So notice the rolled R. The, and the accent is on the A, ah, so the E is closed. Day, right? Day, closed E with the semi-vowel. Nostri. So remember the S. We, when we speak, we can say nostri and it's the S. When we sing, we have to separate. Nostri. Nostri. And that, that's how we do it. Same thing with oppressore. Oppressor. You separate the S, right? Oppress, you don't want that. Only in speech. Oppressor. Notice that everything is closed in this word. You can also do purity test. A, O. A, O. Oppressor. Going on, the, the, the um, interjection, ah, is a strong monosyllable. So you have a high note, you're singing a ah, sventurata. See, double double sventurata. It's not strong on the on the, the actual doubling. It's just a space and there's a rest there. So you can do it across the rest. A ah, sventurata che dissi. See, double D again, right? So how do we do double D? We do A, go up to the D, don't say it. Que DC. Now, if you're excited, you're mildly excited, you say que DC. If you're really excited, you say que DC, right? There's a bigger space. The space makes the expression, not the force of the D. So in no way do we go que DC, right, with that strong D, right? It's not the consonant. It's the vowel. And it's the space. Okay, going on. Uh, the word a we've already had is a mono, strong monosyllable. It's the word for and. It is closed. El amor mio. So amore is closed. Oh, single m, right? So amor. I hear a lot amor, and you sound like you're from Naples if you do that. Amor, one m. Mio we've had. Dunque. Middle of the tongue makes that end. That's the first assimilation we learned in the last video. Dunque. You're going to say que. Dunque. Scordar. Both R's are legal. Both, one touches a consonant, one is final. And then the next, the next word starts with a consonant, so it's rolled. Posso is open on the stress. Posso. Right? Possio. And the E or the O is closed. Questo, all these words, questo, quello, questa, close D, right? And again, the S rule applies, right? When we speak, we can say questo, questo, fervido, eh, eh, eh. So what we tend to do is when we have an, an E vowel that is followed by an R, we tend to make it rhyme with chair. Fair, right? Fervido, uh-uh, eh, fervido. Same thing happens in German with Hertz. I see you know, people singing Hertz, right? Fervido. So closed O. The accent is on the antipenultimate syllable, right? So it's the second to last, non-common stress. That E is open. Uh, we've had amore. We've had que. Oppressa. Open E. The S rule is in effect, right? Oppressa. So hold on to the A until the, you put the S on the next note. Eschiava. So notice that we have a double S to begin this word. Eschiava. In C-H-I, the H is only there to harden the K sound, right? The C. Eschiava. Here's another thing that can happen. We, when we have a bunch of A's in a row in, in, in English, we neutralize, like America, right? America, right? In Italian. Schiava. Ah, ah. So make sure that those ahs are equal. Now, come is a, is a, a, a two-syllable word that causes phrasal doubling, or about six two-syllable words. Sopra, come, contra, donde. Uh, those, those tend to cause a phrasal doubling. There's also in Colorini's book in the last four or five pages. So, um, the word come makes a double R. Come raggio. Okay, so DG for the double G and a rolled R. Notice that the I is only there to make a semivowel, to make the, to make the G soft. It's a disappearing semivowel. Jo. Okay, going on. D we've had as a weak monosyllable. Sole, the sun, 
is closed. Sol is the note G. So closed though. Sol. In this case, because it's truncated, uh, we, we know it's it's the sun. Um, the word qui is a strong monosyllable, so it will double the M in me. Qui mi beava. Beava. Uh, so the accent is on the A, so the E will be closed. Um, now, uh, imprecherò, or whenever you have a, a verb with an, uh, a, an accented final syllable, usually it's going to open. A lot of the future tense does that. A lot of the passato remoto does that. So, uh, imprecherò, I did in slow motion. Notice that the E's are closed, and then we usually do the opposite, right? We do uh, imprecherò. Uh, impre imprecero, we do the opposite, right? Where we open all the E's and we close the O, right? Imprecero. Now notice that the final stress again causes a doubling. So imprecero la morte is what happens. The L doubles as we trip along, right? So morte, open O, rolled R, closed E. A, uh, the conjunction is a strong monosyllable, makes a double. Radames. Uh, the final E in Radames is open. Uh, Alui. There's a, again doing its work, doubling the L. Camo purtanto. Camo. Camo. Right? So the accent is on the A. Purtanto. The R rolls going into the T. The next line presents us with the choice because we have two doubling words in a row. Uh, uh, and where exactly? Oh yeah, I see it's da and pu, right? So the word da is a is a strong monosyllable in pu. So you can say at the end of the line da pu crudeli, or you can say da pu crudeli. Either way. Uh, again, remember the beginning. The word a is a strong monosyllable a non fu. Uh, and then there's a there's another uh, n assimilation. Where the N precedes a fricative, right? Non fu, non fu in terra mai, ah non fu in terra mai. See, so it has to go by really quickly, with the N going on the bottom lip, brushing against the top teeth. That was that was also explained in the first video. Okay, terra open E double R, uh, mai a e mai da strong monosyllable. Pew, strong monosyllable. Crudeli. The E is open. And what we love to do is when we have an open vowel with a single consonant, we will, uh, by instinct, we will double the consonant. So you have to fight against that, right? Crudeli, not crudeli. You'll find yourself doing that. Okay. Angosce. So the sh in a lot of words like lasciare is a double consonant to Italians, right? So... Again, when you speak, you can say angosce in his and kind of whoosh across on that, right? In in singing, you have to separate angosce. Notice that the I is a disappearing semivowel she. It's just there to make things soft, right? Angosce. Going on un core. So core. Flipped R. Open O. Heart. Corre. He runs. Core, heart. Affranto, double F. Affranto. Notice that the F doesn't really stop so much, right? Not affranto, affranto. It's on the way to everything else. Going on. Uh, e is a weak monosyllable. Sacri, rolled R because it touches the C. Nomi, we've had it's the plural of nome. D. Weak monosyllable, padre, we've had already in this, damante, notice the phonating N going into the T. Ne, the word nor, is a strong monosyllable, ne proferir, proferir. Notice the coordination needed to flip the first R, roll the second R. First R is surrounded by vowel, proferir. So you have to actively do those R's. Posso, again we've had. Ne, we've had. Ne ricordar. Notice every R in that, that word is rolled. 
in because of the phrasal doubling. Per does not rhyme with the fruit pear. It's per lun per l'altro. Notice l'altro. Again, that the, the rule of the L's touching a consonant. Uh, here's our N assimilation again. Confusa. Confusa. Okay. Tremante. The E is in the unstressed position both times, so it's A. Io, we've had piangere, another N assimilation, right? Piangere, in the middle of the tongue. Uh, all the ere verbs are closed E's. Ere, right? Anything that is like, uh, right? Piangere. Vorrei. We do the opposite, right? We say vorrei. And it's vorrei. So close the open E. Semivowel. Pregar. Close D because the accent is on the are, right? Pregare. Ma is a strong monosyllable. Mala. Mia, we've had uh, possessive pronouns. Pianto, phonating N into a T. Ame. Oh, oh, again, we have a, a choice, right? Because A and me are both strong monosyllables. So notice I've written it out both. Uh, so you can say ame colpa or you can say ame Colpa. I think the second one is nice too, right? So you have a um, you you have a choice there. Notice that colpa is closed though. So spear, very dangerous word for an American to say because we can harmonize the R and we can hiss the S early. So spear, right? So spear, e e e, right? We can we want e. So you think o e so. Spear. You'll never get that word wrong. Now here we have the here we have the thing where Italians when they have the first word beginning with an uh, ending with an n, the second word starting with an n, it becomes one word. In notte. See? In notte with a double n. Right? Double T. We have not had one double T in this, so let's do double T. We have an open O. We have a double T. So what I hear a lot is not with two T's and the first vowel chopped, brutally chopped, I might add, right? Not te, no. So when you speak, you could probably say not te, right? And chop it without much thought. When you sing, the vowel has to be long. You have to go up to the double T, stop phonation. Don't say the T, then say the T, like this. No, stop phonation. No, Go up to the T, don't say it. Not te. There's your double T for singing. Okay? You don't do two T's. Right? Not te. Now, the space is up to you. You have control over that and also the time you have in the aria, right? You can say not te. You can say not te. Doesn't matter, right? Where you put the double one. As long as you have time to do it, you can do it. You just have to have the stop and phonation. It's the stop and phonation that makes the double T. Okay, going on. Cuba, right? Ooh, ah. There's your purity test. La, we've had it's a weak monosyllable. Now, la, that means over there with an accent on it. La, like la dove, that doubles. But la, the, prep, the, 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 um, like da, right? It's, uh, doesn't. Mente, this is a closed E. Mente. Eh, the word for is is open. Remember, eh, perduta. This is this one, right? So if you double the P, then you're going to want to double the T. Not good, right? Eh, perduta. Not per, perduta. Notice also it's not per, it's E. So it's eh, E, U, A. Eh, E, U, A. Eh, so eh, perduta. And that's how you practice. Okay? Inilancia. Good one for ends, right? In double N. Double L. Double N, right? Inilancia. Crudel. Open E at the end. Vorrei, we've had. Morire. So notice that the word morte is open. But when it goes in the infinitive, the accent is on the E. So the O is morire. Morir, in this case, when you leave the E off at the end of the infinitive, 
Now this one, it ends on the R, so it rolls. Okay, we're coming down towards the end. Numi, we've had one M. Pieta. So this word, there are a lot of words in Italian that in Latin had a D-E at the end, right? So città, right? Città, modern Italian city. Pity, pietà de, beltà de, right? Beauty, right? It's A D E and it's cut off. So this is a truncated word, causes a phrasal doubling. So things with a strong accent cause a phrasal doubling. Pietà del mio soffrir. So you, so you double the D. Just slightly, right? You don't want to overdo any of this, right? So if you doubt, leave it out, right? But pietà del mio soffrir. See, just enough to make it spicy. You don't want pietà. And a lot, right? No. Pietà del mio soffrir. Just a little bit. Soffrir. So the R is rolled at the end and the double F. Both R's are rolled, actually. Two R's to be rolled. Spam, eh? So open E, single M, right? You also see this word as span, eh? In really old librettos. Spam, eh? So it can be spelled either with the N or the M. Uh, here is the N assimilation before V. Non va. Non va. Right? Was by so fast you don't see it. Uh, a, H, A is a strong monosyllable. Non va per mio dolor. So, mio dolor. Close O. O, O. Amor. Close O. Fatal. A, A. Right? Tremendo. So, the E is open on the stress. The one on the uh, not stress is closed, and also the O. Uh, be careful with this word. Uh, the word tremendous has lost its original meaning in English. It still has its full. Uh, tremend something tremendous in um, Italian is, is something that causes you to have fear. It has, it's, it has a negative con con uh, connotation. You know, like, so saying somebody has a, you're doing a tremendous job. You know, if you say that in, 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 this, in, this, in this sense, in this libretto, tremendous doesn't mean that. You know, if you said you have a tremendous job, it means you're, you're doing a job that causes everybody to be afra afraid, right? So, so, tremendo, causing tremors, right? That, that, that's the original. Uh, amore, closed O, right? Uh, spazzami, so spazzami, open E in this one. Right, the Z Z is like the Z and pizza, the Z's and pizza, right? Spazzami. Sometimes it's D Z, like mezzo, and you have to memorize word by word. Uh, we've had il cor, core, heart, is always open, right? Uh, fammi, double M, morir. So this one I hear done a lot wrong, right? So I hear morir with both rolled, morir. So the last one is rolled. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the word by word. So now let's do it from the uh, Linsana Parola. And we're going to do all of the lines and we're going to find the rhymes. We're going to go up to these exclamation points. Um, we're going to find the big, big, big long phrases through the words alone. Okay, going on. Here, l'insana parola o numi sperdete, al seno d'un padre la figlia rendete, struggete le sguadre dei nostri oppressor, and my Neapolitan came out there, I should say squadre, right? I said sguadre, that's very Neapolitan, pardon me. So let's do this line again. Struggete le squadre dei nostri oppressor, asventurata che dissi, e l'amor mio, dunque scordar possio questo fervido amore che oppressa e schiava come il raggio di sol qui mi beava. Everything rhymes, right? Imprecherò la morte a Radames, a lui camo per pur tanto. Ah, non fu in terra mai da più crudeli angosce un core affranto. I sacri nomi di padre d'amante ne proferir possio ne ricordar per l'un per l'altro confusa tremante 
Io piangere vorrei pregar. So ricordar and pregar rhyme. Malla mia prece in bestemmia si muta. Delitto il pianto a me colpa il sospir. In notte cupa la mente perduta. E nell'ansia crudel vorrei morir. Non mi pietà del mio soffrir, speme non va pel mio dolor. Amor fatal, tremendo amore, spezza il cor, fammi morir. And now, just doing this, I realized that I might have uh, left out uh, io piangere vorrei pregar, uh, this line in the word for word. So let's just do this one word for word and then we'll bring the video to an end. So, uh, piangere we've had, right? Vorrei, open E, pregar. So the accent is on the A, uh, the E is closed. Uh, bestemmia, bestemmia, I hear, so I hear all the time bestemmia with an open E. Bestemmia, that's the most important word, right? So, prece in bestemmia, bestemmia, right? So it's very easy to say bestemmia, bestemmia. So make sure we get that right. So that's the that's the line I believe I'm missing. Uh, okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a like. Please check me out on Facebook and subscribe to my channel. Uh, as always, don't forget to see your coach, and we'll see you at the opera.